So after all the death, the chaos, the drama in the last video, I think we need to get away for a little bit. Yeah, uh, we're going to Muslaheim. I want to see if we can update our gauntlets and our waist. We did do the chest in the last episode uh, to level 2. Well, the second stage, I guess. And I also want to go to Nilfheim, the Realm of Bog, too. So, yeah, if all that falls through, um, I guess we'll just keep on with the story quest. So, yeah, let's go. I expected them to start talking. They usually talk when I get in the boat. Mimir, I still don't get why you ever wanted to work for Odin. Back then, I was young enough to still be ambitious. The Aesir gods were as powerful a force as I'd come across, but they clearly lacked for strategy, focus, and sage counsel. All this could I faithfully provide. And so, a stranger from a far-off island found himself with Odin's ear, trusted as he trusted no one but himself. And with that kind of power, laddie, I must confess, there are perks. Yeah. Yeah, but he's Odin. I never claim to be perfect, laddie, only clever. And often too clever by half. So what'd you do to get Odin so mad at you? Well, for a long time my job was to enable Odin, and I was fucking excellent at it. Gradually, as I grew more to care about people and the world, my job became to contain him. To protect him from himself. By serving peace, I served his interests as well. That's the truth. But he saw it as disloyalty. No longer trusting my motives, but not wishing to part with my brain or tongue, he bound me to a tree and adopted a new pastime of casual torture. Well, I'm glad we came along to cut off your head. Aye, lad. Lucky break that was. Aw, I love Mimia. I, you know what? I just remembered that he sacrificed himself. When Boulder was attacking us, he was like, take me instead. I, I, I did not expect that. I'll be honest, I did not expect that. Him to do that. We're like a little family. Oh. I didn't think we'd see you out here, since you and Brock got back together. Everything okay? Oh, better than ever. You know, I really think we've both grown in our years apart. Mm -hmm. So how come you're back here? Just catching some fresh air. Look, I love my brother, but he still smells like a fetid dung pile. Castle of Valkyries. Oh, okay. <laughs> from here. Atreus, straight. You silly duffer. Oh no. What am I doing here? <laughs> What's the... Ah. Oh. What is this place? Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Ed. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimir, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. <laughs> so you're going to answer the question, Mimir? What is this place? The Council of Valkyries, of course. Duh. No? Oh, it must be, um, a main quest. Maybe we get this when we defeat all the Valkyries. Mm -hmm. Death Eater. Oh.
Well, the game made a big deal about that one. Mother never mentioned this troll. Guess he never did anything special to earn an interesting bedtime story, and now he never will. A massive shockwave. Inflicts a small amount of burn damage. Ours is still the best. What about this one? That has more damage. Yeah, I don't. I should do that one. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I can't equip it while cooldown is active. That's weird. Okay. I really like our move, but this one's stronger, so we're gonna we're gonna take it. Another name. Air. Seven of eight. So we need one more. Okay. Boy. Yes, sir. It's more it's like it, boy. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna go hunting around the treasure. Do you see this? My axe is literally right there. Come on. Um, I think that got you, mate. I think the I think my axe is directly on you. No? What an elusive bird! Are you kidding me? Evasive? Elusive? This bird is just... This must be Odin's favourite bird. Nah, okay. Alright. Whatever. You're familiar with the tale of school and Potsy, bringers of day and night. Oh yeah, the wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the arch wolf Hrothwitnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. But when the sun and moon grew mutinous and stood still, Odin put Skull and Hoti to use. With his ancient magics, he cast the wolves to the heavens, and they began their chase. And long shall they chase, but not endlessly. For it is foretold that someday Skull and Hoti will catch and devour their prey. And that day shall be Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. But Ragnarok is supposed to be Odin's doom. Isn't it? Why would he set the wolves loose if it fulfills the prophecy? Precisely the question, lad. It's always about control. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle for- Shit, sir. I- I- Okay. Wolf giants. Skull chases the sun and Hattie the moon. What happens when they catch their prey? Looks like a massive fight. Odin thought the world serpent. Could it be? Ragnarok? Odin knows the prophecy and sent them anyway. Cause Mimir says he's always trying to control everything. Until then, they're the bringers of day and night that keep the sun and moon moving. But on his timetable is a battle he better stands to win. I mean, wouldn't you just never have them catch it? I mean, why even try? If you believe in the prophecy, why would you even try to fight Ragnarok? Just never... Just never activate it. <gasps> Alright, last one. Yes. Gunnar, look at that. Maybe we can survive a fight with the Valkyrie now. Reduces all damage from Valkyrie's attack by 5%? 
I mean, yeah, I guess. Considering we usually like die by this much of their health left. Could be the thing that saves us. If I'm not mistaken, we've yet to discuss the tale of the giant Bergelmir. Oh yeah, I remember his shrine. It looked heavier than the other ones. It begins in an ocean of blood. Finally, a story worth hearing. <laughs> if you remember, Imi, the first giant, was fatally stabbed by Odin. It's in his blood our story starts. Ymir's magical guts poured out in a torrent so violent it threatened to flood all of creation. The Jotnar were unprepared, as the very last of them were washed away in the endless tide. Not just Ymir, but all of giant kind faced extinction. And so would Odin's victory have been complete. But Ymir's kind did not all perish that day. Staying afloat in the hollowed husk of a tree, the frost giant Bergelmir endured, as did his lady wife. For weeks they sailed, until finally they came upon a new land. They called it Jotunheim. And there they would start anew. As father and mother, they would multiply exceedingly, and as king and queen, they worked to make Jotunheim a land where giants would know no master but themselves. Bergelmir never sought revenge for Odin's slaughter. His vengeance was to live and prosper. Yeah. He died at peace, a legion of his kin to mourn him. He would ever be known as Bergelmir the Beloved. Bergelmir the Beloved. Huh. A giant king with many, many children. Looks like, oh yeah, the one with 12. Yeah. The, looks like he survived on a sea of blood and when he died, he left a sea of tears. Dead, but not murdered for once. But... Berglamir, Berglamir and his queen survived the flood of Ymir's blood and founded Jotunheim. They did not seek revenge except to live and see his kind prosper. Belgamir Belg the Beloved, a happy ending. Huh. I've never heard a story end that way. Not a true one anyway. If you do, laddie. Don't they say the best revenge is living well? Strength increased by two. Woo! That animation is so funny. <laughs> okay. What about the giant with eight arms? Starcast the Mighty, he was called. If the giants ever had anything so organized as an army, Starcast would have been their general. An opinion, in retrospect, I should have kept to myself. But no, as Odin's advisor, I kept him advised. And having bent his will towards Starkath's doom, there was no dissuading him. But even Thor wasn't stupid enough to take on Starkath on his own. No. Instead, the Aesir set forth slanders upon Starkath's name, branding him throughout the realms as a monster to be feared. They said he abducted an elf queen who killed herself rather than be ravished by the giant. Lies, of course, but you're too young for her story. In the end, even the Vanir gods and the armies of Midgard were roused to the cause. They surrounded Starkath, showered him with arrows until he was brought to his knees. He surrendered, hoping by trial he could clear his name. Thor took advantage and ripped off one of Starkath's arms, which only made it easier to sever another and another until he was satisfied. Relieved of six arms and too much blood, Sorry. A giant with eight arms swinging four swords until Thor chopped him up. Why did the gods gang up on him? Odin plotted to destroy Starkor after hearing Mimir praise him as a potential leader of giants. They spread rumors and gathered a mob. And when he surrendered to clear his name, Thor murdered him. Fucking hell. Arkath perished upon the battlefield. Ah. I regret it to this day, you know. I told myself there was nothing I could do, but I wish I'd tried. Luck. Woohoo! Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according. 
according to plan. <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. I'm not gonna go yet. be a challenge without a little challenge, would it? Muslaheim is challenging enough. Alright, high sword. I'm back. Oh, okay, no more. So this is the second. Be ready, boy. I am. The second one of this trial. Ah, Revenant. Oh, what the? Defeat enemies to then Ah, oh, okay, right. Thirty seconds. Yeah, this does no damage. Fuck it up. That these are annoying because look, I can't get it. I can't get the rock. So then I wait for him to do this. All right. And, okay. And I lose it. I lose it. It stopped. Yeah. It stopped. Let's go turn your time. There is no failure. I think I might do Sindri's. Just because, why not? I don't think I'm going to. I'm not. I'm not going to do any more Hellfire. I don't think. Muslaheim, sorry. See, I always get confused. I keep thinking that yellow is legendary and purple is epic, because that's. I feel like that's what it usually is. Ah, Niflheim. Not Niflheim. sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. What is that stuff? Mistakos. Yes, a strange material. Huh? What is this stuff? This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Well, our health isn't great. If we go here, does our health... Oh, shit. Okay. Look here. Let's see. Turn back. Upon this place sits the curse of Vivaldi, whose talents threaten the gods of Asgard. The mists of the mists of Niflheim were made a weapon by my father's alchemy, and turned upon their creators. His skill as an inventor and craftsman were unrivaled, but it was his talent and genius which drew the ire of the As the Aesir in the first place. Therefore, I, Motsungnir, Mons renounce this place i renounce dwarf dwarven kind i am off to seek refuge and self-imposed exile in midgard those who do not flee this realm will join my father in the grave motsongnir son of ivaldi ah fancy seeing you two here hi sindri i'm surprised you're here sindri this mist is pretty gross you think i can't handle a little cursed mist well you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Evaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. Ugh. <sighs> I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. 
And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. You shouldn't have much trouble finding mist echoes inside the workshop. Okay. Staying alive, on the other hand. Uh, do I look like I will struggle with that? What is this place? You are standing at the entrance to Evaldi's workshop. A testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why does it smell so bad? It's quite foul, isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but uh, quite simply, Evaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequences. So, Evaldi created this mist? No, no, Niflheim has always been a land of mist. And snow, endless snow, and, and wind, and, and ice. Really, it's never been a pleasant location. But, Evaldi found a way to harness all that frosty power, and built marvels that shocked the realms of both man and god. Wow. Yes. Wow. So then what happened? Hmm? After Ivaldi built all the marbles. Ah, yes. Well, Odin wasn't keen on the idea of dwarves Boss. building contraptions that challenged his power, so he intervened. Ivaldi was furious and retaliated. From there, things escalated, and well, here we are. Cursed mist. And this is why gods are best avoided. Yeah. something written here. These cursed ruins hold rare mist echoes used for crafting. Yeah, I know. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible. Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous. Creepy. Let's go. Do I have to fight them? Let's just leave. Come on, leave. <laughs> oh. So that's it then. <laughs> oh, what? So we're safe up here? No. Alright, 181. Okay, so we need 500. Oh, 67. Okay. Three sixty. Oh shit. Mm. Uh. We're nearly dead. Uh. Oh. No! So now where do I go? I've got 500. Oh my god. So can I go back now? Uh, 
Uh, uh, come on. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Come on. Shit, I'm nearly dead. Fuck. Come on. Oh my god. That was close. Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. Yeah. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Cindy, <sighs> how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. No. <laughs> I could put them to all sorts of use. Mm. Okay, so I have to give them to him. Oops. Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Or never mind it. Yeah, I don't want to do this. You know, mm, I think we're fine. I'm fine for now. I'm fine with the armor I have. Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. I don't care. And you're not dead. Very. Let's just play the game. I will make Sindri's armor though. I think, just to see, and I'll upgrade it and see, because we can level it up too. All right, let's do it. Let's make Sindri's ultimate sacrifice. Oh, I don't like it though. It's ugly. See you next. Where's I see you? Yeah, yeah, it's ugly. Oh well. Oh, so I have to craft the entry stone. Oh, okay. All right. See, I thought that the game was going to make me keep getting mists until I create armor that will let me progress, and I didn't want to do that. So, all right. Because I would like to go in and have a What's look. What's it gonna be this time? Was that all there is? Okay, so let's let's go, I guess. All right, we're in. Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Can you wear it? No. It is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf. Too small? Okay. Oh, uh, what? What do you mean? What does it say? Anchor of fog. Right, so I guess we have to go back to Sindri. Is that what I think it is? Useless armor? Useless? Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. Mm -hmm. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop. And the three realm tears, of course. But might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. So what's this armor? God. Mm, let's go. Nothing to your liking. See, 
I have a problem with these types of games. I don't I don't know why I do this. I'm a masochist, I guess. Is open these type of games, these open world, they're my favorite. They're my favorite types of games, but I feel like I want to do everything because I have a fear of missing story content or content and I end up burning myself out. So I told myself a while ago, you know what? I am going to be more strict with what I do and what I don't do, which is why you might see me go, ugh, every time I see something that I think is a, a bit too fetchy, a bit too, because I've been burnt so many times with these, not this game, but like games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and I just burn myself out. It's too much. Oh my God, Dragon Age Inquisition. It's too much. Like, when I play a game, a good game, I never want it to end because I love it. But I feel like doing it that way, stretching a game in that way, is just such a cop out. It's like, that's not what I want to do. You know? Like, don't pad out your game with useless shit. I'm not talking about this game. Like, it's obviously optional. It's a me problem. Except for Dragon Age Inquisition. That's that's a whole other issue story but yeah I have a problem I have I need to just yeah stop I guess yeah been fussing around Nippelheim have we how can you tell I'd recognize if all these stench of failure anywhere plus you still got some mist on your shoes oh we sure, need a stone I'm open. Oh. All right, okay. we'll scoot then. I will scoot. I think this is all we have left. Just the main quest right now. Don't want to do that. I'm over it. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm just... No, I just want to play the game. I guess we go to Jotunheim. Exciting. I'm, I'm excited. Should have gotten a drink for this later. Boy, your head. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Shit. Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Mm -hmm. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. Oh, God. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come.
We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? Yeah. I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Try to stop. You're ruining a moment. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? Yeah. They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Oh. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. I thought it was just um, him and his wife. I don't know, maybe I misunderstood. I thought it was him and his wife and they had heaps of kids and they're just repopulated, I don't know. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Yep. Oh. Midgard, yeah. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotna, Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and mortals, most of all. It was beautiful, but not everybody is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening. And so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. <laughs> the wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer have dinned our numbers in mid- <laughs> <clears throat> Our numbers in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw. While well, yet yeah, we live to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with end of everything. Where are they now? The giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did. Yeah, where are they? Huh, who's the guardian? Hmm. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. Yeah. What happened to them? Why'd mom send us here? Yeah, I know. Sorry. We foresee Midgard's fate overrun 
a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the guardian return. Okay, so Ragnarok. I guess. Until then, we await a better world, one without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for word that gods grow good. Hope that world gets here soon. <laughs> yeah. So then two more take its place. Yeah, see, I, want, I always wondered that. Like, why? Why did she request, like, you know, I mean, obviously that's it's not abnormal for someone to have a request where they'd want to be buried, where they want their ashes spread. But why would she request this? Like, she would have known, surely. I don't know. Maybe she didn't know. Maybe she thought, like they did, that the highest peak was in Midgard. Um, yeah, but maybe she did know. I don't, I don't know. arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. Yep. You didn't know. She was a giant. That's why they want Atreus. That's why they hunt us. I'm from a giant. Why didn't she tell us? Because put us in danger. Maybe. She sent us here, knowing we would find this. But... Why not just tell us the truth? Yeah. Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. Yeah. He was tracking her all along. Not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us... I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. What the hell is that? He saw us something. I don't understand it. That would be, that would be heartbreaking for Kratos. I would think, you know, that to find out that she kept secrets from him. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this whole fate thing, you know, like fate I'm kind of, I kind of agree with Kratos and his, his uh, thoughts on fate. 
I, I don't I don't like to think that. I like to think that we carve our own fate. <laughs> so you know. Sorry. Look. It's mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Oh, the handprint. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. God, what the fuck? What happened? Father. No. We do it together. Son. Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Not all of them. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. What do you mean? I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? What? Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Is he not Kratos' son? I don't get the part mortal. How is he part mortal? Over here. Sorry. How is he part mortal? Oh, because Kratos, I guess, was mortal before he was a. Yeah, no, that's what I'm looking at. 
Can I talk to you? No. Uh, I want to know what happened. I want to know so many things. I guess it all makes sense now. Why she oh. want to end up here? Oh. Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Wow, it's finished, okay. Oh. Now I'm really looking forward to Ragnarok. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. When we were missing. I didn't know that. I was very, very, very careful to avoid all spoilers. I'm, I don't know if I want to say this on the internet. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it because I trust you. I trust you guys. I'm very good at avoiding spoilers. I'm very good at it. wait until after this to speak because I don't know if there's going to be any any more where do we go oh. okay <laughs> just keep walking forward I guess if you want to go home but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free no some other help people need. maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here too I mean what would Atreus of Sparta do and what would Loki do huh that's a weird name I'm glad we went with yours I don't usually I don't usually like playing after the story is finished in any game but for this game it makes sense because this story isn't finished you know it's it's very open-ended so it would make sense to continue playing but i'm not going to do that what the why are you on the floor lads am i glad to see you i believe i've reached my limit for dwarven charm what happened mamir they took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? So he would have told them to leave him there. <laughs> Continue exploring, complete dwarven favours, free dragons, travel to Musselheim and Niflheim, find new items. No. Locations of Orca have been revealed. Okay. No. 
No. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so that was an incredible game. That was such a good, that was a really good game. Um, yeah, that was a really good game. Um, I don't really know what to say. I pretty much have been talking throughout the game as I've been playing it. Um, I have so many questions, obviously. This game is very open-ended. Like, oh, I really thought that we were going to get to meet Thor and Odin, but I'm okay with that, you know? That's that's for Ragnarok. That's for the next game. Um, yeah, I thought we were going to meet the giants. They were dead. I find this... I find it so sad that, you know, they just, they just sounded like really noble people, you know, like so kind and just, they just wanted, you know, to collaborate together and just, just live peacefully. It was just so sad. Oh, just so sad. Um, yeah, um, Loki, that, that was a bit, that was a bit of a, I mean, um, I guess it was supposed to be a, a twist you know, kind of the whole Loki thing because, you know, Loki is the son of Thor. I mean, Odin, Thor's brother, were they together? But then it would have been while she was with Kratos, obviously. So what the hell? Or maybe it's not that. Maybe it's just a different... Maybe it's not that. I don't know. I hope not because that would be sad. She cheated on Kratos with... I don't know. I don't know. And the elves, like... Yeah, I, I, I thought that, well, when we were in Alfheim, at least, I think that that's, the, that's what it's called, yeah? Yeah, the elven place that we would... That the elves would show themselves and we would get to talk to them and... But, like, yeah, I never understood why they attacked us. Like what the hell you know and then they would just <laughs> this is probably just purely for gameplay purposes but they would just be in random places and i'm like oh, what are you doing here why are you trying to kill me what's going on <laughs> um i was i don't know i thought that we would know more about that like i said before uh kratos's wife i'm very interested how did she die like surely i didn't miss it surely they didn't say and I missed it um yeah but I'm interested in that um I, I yeah I love this game I love the characters like honestly I was a bit because like I said in episode in the first God of War video I bought this game so long ago and I'm so glad I didn't play it <laughs> until I started this channel but I bought it so long ago and and I I knew that it was beloved and so successful but when it won game of the year over red dead 2 i think i was like why how like because i love red dead 2 like it was amazing i'm like wow like yeah okay like well, i knew that kratos and his son that's all i knew and i'm like really that's that good but yeah it's it's uh, it's really good it's it's amazing i loved it i love the characters i've i found a new a new world a new universe that i love um so yeah um i did not expect to finish it today i thought that i was so far away and maybe i'll play another game in between um when Ragnarok comes out but I, I do have a few videos backlog like a few videos ready to be published um well edit I have to edit some first so I don't know if I'll get time um Telltale Borderlands is out um I don't know if you guys want me to play that let me know in the comments I might be able to play it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed um I also as of now, um, we have I have a one one hundred and twenty five subscribers. I think. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm wanting to um, 
uh, this channel it means a lot to me it means so much to me it makes me so happy you know so it's i'm just i love it anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed and yeah have a good day <laughs> um yeah thank you for watching see you next time bye